Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time the Lightning Round! I'm Kramer Shemar, what's up? Rapper Coles, one minute to say the sales stocks have a vision of you and me and me and then the lighting round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Dice up the lighting round. Quentin Myers, with Jake in California. Jake, Jimmy Chill, long Jake, time sir. listener, first yo, time yo. caller. Speak to as me. As the world is forced away from the, tr- as the world is forced away from the traditional workforce and employee staffing, I see a lot of room to grow in the freelance in- industry. Why pay an in-house graphic designer sixty k a year when you can have a reliable service perform necessary projects for a fraction of the cost? I see a lot of room for growth, especially in Upwork's enterprise division, connecting with Fortune 500 and companies. And so do I, and that's why what I recommend this man stock, and I think it's a terrific idea. Bye, 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 I am bye, with bye. our viewers. Now I've got to go do, uh, hey, let's go to Paul in Arizona. Paul. Hey, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Yo, yo, Paul. You're great staff. Of course. Oh, thank- oh the staff's unbelievable. Hey. Heather Gaines, right here. Oh, uh, they're yes, great. I- yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, like this that. stock has advanced applications for markets such as aerospace, automotive, medical and sports, and more. They had a good fourth quarter and growing in 2021. You've had them on your show before. What's your take on 3D Systems, DDD? It's back. 3D Systems, it's real. I mean, I spent a lot of time trying to debunk it last week when I was uh, flat on my side. That's what happens when you have back operation. And I couldn't. I couldn't. It's real. I was trying to say maybe HPQ. No, I think DDD is real, and I'm glad you brought it to our viewers' attention. I need to go to Spiro in New York. Spiro. Hey, Jimmy Kill. Man, I've been watching you for so long, Kramer days. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah, Larry's going to, to, he's got a spackler. <laughs> right. Man, oh, man. Everyone I talk to is refinancing their mortgage. The slowest time of the year is the busiest time of the year. With one billion share buyback, shouldn't that knock the shorts off that short squeeze? Or will the anticipated IPO of Loan Depot keep up those shorts on Rocket Mortgage? Well, look, we're not playing that short squeeze game. That was a one and done. And uh, frankly, if you like uh, if you like mortgages and you like Rocket, that's fine. Uh, but we certainly do never want to buy a stock because we think that the shorts are going to be on the run. Because a lot of companies, other than that Alpha did GameStop, would just print new stock, a la AMC. So my take is Rocket's fine. Uh, it ran up a lot. It's fine. I wish I could be more positive. It's fine. Let's go to Antonio in Michigan. Antonio. Hey, thanks, Jim. Um, I've been following some SPACs for a few months now. And uh, one of them that I'm pretty excited about, and I'm wondering what your outlook is on this company, is... Uh, the biodegradable plastics maker, Danimer Scientific. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, uh, look, I am inclined to like this, uh, but so far there's never been a real successful biodegradable uh, that, that can scale. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why, oddly enough, that Dow Chemical continues to do so well. I think it's interesting, it's intriguing, but please, it is just a spec, no more than that. Eric in New Hampshire, Eric. Hey, Jim, how are you? Big first of Booyah to you from Jerry and the Boys. Thank you. Good. All I got right, a question what's up? About Norton Life. I got a question about Norton Life. Um, I ran into a little sure, problem. I'm ready. All right. What? I was, uh, my accounts were compromised by a Google service provider. And I was curious if you okay. think they had the knowledge to be able to get me through this problem I'm going through about all my PCs well, being hacked. I, I don't know if that particular case, they did just report, they uh, they guided, the, the, the earnings per share guidance is just uh, flat sequential. This is what I predicted yesterday when I was on my ActionLearnersPlus.com uh, club call. I said, listen, don't buy this for the quarter, but it's for the franchise. And there are going to be people who say, listen, they don't have real growth in ARPU, so it'll go down. But I do like the franchise, and I think it's got a great brand name. I need to go to Ben in Texas. Ben! Great, how are you? Good to see you. Good to uh, talk to you. Well. I just want to know what's what your on? thoughts are. Wanted to know, what do you think of LHC Group? They've been around for a while and they've had some good growth. How do you think they're gonna? Rural, how do you think they're gonna do? Rural, rural med, look, vertical med, med, uh, medical benefit beneficiaries. You know, I always when I think about that, I always default to Centene. I know Centene, Michael Nardov, has not done well right now. But it's a coiled spring at 12 times earnings. And I think that that is the one that I prefer when it comes to that kind of particular business. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the 
Lightning Round! The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.